Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be going over 301 redirects and how to install them in your Shopify store. So again, without further ado, let's jump into it. So today we're going to go over 301 redirects. Now the purpose of a 301 redirect is essential when you're migrating between platforms. So if you're coming from a Magento site or you're coming from a WordPress site um, and you have moved over to a new platform, the URL structure is most likely going to change. So what we want to do is we want to install 301 redirects in order to redirect the traffic that was going to the old location to the new location. So if we have a look at our online store here, we can see that when we go to individual pages on site Shopify, it has a very structured type of way of putting content together. So collections is slash collections. When you're in a product, it's slash products. This is important because it's how Shopify decides which template to pull uh, your content in. If you have a product template, it, it finds the product, it knows it's on a product page, so it pulls in a product template. There's a lot of things that can be gained from using a solid URL structure like this. So with um, transferring over from uh, a WordPress site, for example, you may have products that might have just been, instead of slash products, it might have just been uh, the name and then slash the name. So what we need to do is we need to set up a redirect, which redirects a traffic from that to the next one. So if we go into our dashboard and we want to set up one of those redirects, here's where we want to go. So we want to go to online store and then we want to go to navigations. Now there's a small little uh, link in this top left hand corner that if, you, if you're not paying attention, you're probably going to miss it. Um, but it looks like just a subheading and it's called URL redirects. If you click on URL redirects, it's actually going to take you to a page which will allow you to import and add URL redirects. So we're going to set them up manually this time. In the next video, I'm going to go over how you set them up in bulk, how you do it with a export and an import and what's the easiest way to do that. So first thing we want to do is we want to go create re URL redirect. Now the original redirect that we're redirecting from, so this was where your uh, location was before. So if we had a website that was on Shopify, no sorry, if we had a website that was on WordPress and we wanted to redirect it to a similar page on Shopify, if we had a page say that was called about us on our previous store um, and we want to redirect it to the new one when someone um, has a bookmark or if there's social media links because that's also something we don't want to lose um, and we can't always go and update them. So what we want to do is we want to change it here to slate pages slash about us because that's the structure that Shopify is going to use. And then we hit save redirect. And now what happens is if you go to your website and you went and typed in about us you'll see what happens is the page will now redirect you permanently to pages slash about us. So now the Google, the Google search engine or any of the other search engines out there will update their links so that they now go to the correct page when their listing comes up. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe. If you're new here, hit the bell button so you get notifications on every time I upload a video. And we'll see you guys in the next one.